All right, today we're talking about the binomial probability distribution. This is an introduction to a binomial probability. Uh, so binomial, the term uh, binomial, the, the root is uh, bi, which means two, kind of like a bicycle. Uh, in a situation where you have two uh, clear possible outcomes, perhaps it's yes and no, I support or I don't support, uh, perhaps it's success or failure, uh, but it's a situation where you have uh, two clear possible outcomes. Uh, so you could not use a binomial distribution for something, say, uh, like a foot race or a NASCAR race, where someone finishes second, third, fourth, fifth. If you finish second in a race, you don't necessarily lose, you don't necessarily win either. Uh, so here you have two clear outcomes, say success or failure. So some uh, terminology here. Uh, we're going to use P when we're discussing uh, a binomial probability distribution. P always represents the probability of a success. in a single event. Probability of success in a single event. Uh, Q is going to be the complement of P. So Q is the probability then of failure. P is the probability of success, Q is the probability of failure both for a single event. Uh, since there's only two possible outcomes by the complement rule, uh, Q always equals one minus P. So if P was 0.5, Q would need to be 0.5 as well. Let's say that P equaled 0.3. Therefore, Q would need to equal the complement of that, 1 minus 0.3, which would be 0.7. Let's see if I can make a slightly better zero than that. All right, second try here, 0 0.7 by the complement rule. All right. So I'm going to erase that for right now. So uh, P is the probability of success in a single event. Uh, with a binomial probability distribution, we're actually uh, look interested in repetitive events. So n is always the number of events. And then x is the number of successes. So P is the probability of a success, N is the number of events, and then X is the number of successes. So let's take a look at an example. So for example, let's say you roll six-sided die. And let's say that uh, for our roll, we need a five. Maybe we're playing uh, a board game, we need a five to win. Uh, the, the probability of rolling a five would be one out of six. You could then deduce the, the probability of, of not rolling a five, a probability of failure, or probability of rolling anything else would be five out of six. 
let's say we roll a six-sided die seven times. We roll a six-sided die seven times. A success is rolling a five. I like to make some notes so I can remember what I said later. Uh, and let's say we want to know the likelihood of rolling a five two times. So from this, we can deduce that our n, the number of rolls, is 7, and our x, the number of successes, is 2. We want to roll a 5 two times. Uh, so this would be our setup. This is everything that we need for probability distribution. And let's see what I can do here. I'm going to take this example, I'm going to set it to the side. So what is the probability distribution? So here is an, here it is, here it is, here's the probability distribution. Uh, n factorial divided by x factorial times uh, x minus x factorial times p to the x times 1 minus p raised to the n minus x. Uh, so we're going to do a follow-up video soon that takes uh, this formula and shows you how to do it in the calculator um, and also discusses uh, the mean and standard deviation. So that's a teaser for later, but we're going to hit pause for right now.